Hello? Just uh, finished work. I recorded about 20 minutes of footage this morning, but the fatal flaw of my phone being my vlogging medium seems to be that if someone sends me a text message, uh, it stops recording audio, even if I've got it set to silent, which is a bit of a ball ache, but yeah, you know, shit happens. Um, yeah, I just finished work. I had to park a fucking mile away from work because it's half term and run up to Christmas and all. Yeah, stop looking at me, love looking in front of you. Um, run up to Christmas and all, you know, the centre of town's packed, which is a bit of a ball ache. But there you go. Oh man, fucking English roads, man. Uh, yeah, so, hello, uh, yeah, so, what I was actually talking about this morning, as long as no one's fucking texting me now, what I was talking about this morning was, working in the centre of town, I should get subsidised for parking in my opinion, maybe not the whole amount, and I, I don't know, Maybe you can, but I don't know about it. As in, like, I that fucking hell, love. Oh, oh my fucking days! What are you stopping there for? There's fucking miles in front of you. I swear to God, old people should have to retake the test. I swear, because I've always said that it's not, it's not, uh, like speed or aggression that kills. Sometimes it's speed mixed with stupidity that does. But, in my opinion, the biggest fucking problem on roads these days is hesitation and uncertainty. I... Fucking hell. I'm... I'm much more nervous when um, driving behind a micro urbis with a fucking 60 year old that don't know what she's doing. 60, that's probably a bit harsh. 6, 70, whatever. I mean, I'm not saying all, all old people are bad drivers, but they tend to be so, so fucking cautious, like over cautious, where you're ex it almost causes a crash in itself because you're expecting them to, you're expecting them to drive off quick, you know? Uh, well, not quick, but, you know, actually drive off. Like, she's braking, s like, really quite hard. She's got another 20 metres in front of her before the van. And, like, you know, it's uncertainty and not knowing what someone's going to do that's far worse, in my opinion. Like, when I come, when I drive, I'm assertive. Some people call it aggression, but I'm, I'm just assertive. I make my intentions clear what I'm doing on the road, you know. But if she's breaking 100 metres reasonably hard before she's going to get to someone, um, it, it's not a good thing because I'm sat here wondering what the fuck she's doing. Yeah, you know, I'm paying attention and whatnot, but I still say that the uncertainty and things like that is, is far more dangerous. Better side of the bus stop. It's far more dangerous than. Uh, um, speed, I mean, yeah, you get your little dickheads in, oh, fuck, I'm... it's alright, I'm trying a new way home, I know I can get home this way, um, but I'm not entirely sure of which way I go, I think this way, um, thank fuck, I'm not behind her no more, um, well, she, see, she's breaking there for nothing, I'm just fucking straight, I'm gone, she's still sat there, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, I'm coming the right way, you're alright. It might sound stupid, that, but I haven't been living where I'm living now for all that long, and my car's been off the road. I'm not used to this side of town. I'm used to in the middle of Cleethorpe. But yeah, back to that point, uncertainty and caution, in my opinion, um, are far more dangerous 
because you can't tell what someone's going to do. Whereas when I'm assertive, I, I make my clear, I, I make my intentions clear. Like I went over that roundabout just a moment ago. I saw there was nothing coming, so I just carried on. I see no problem in that. Yet she breaks nearly a standstill. Anyone behind her, um, anyone behind her might not have known what she was doing. You know. And that can cause problems for people. Um, so yeah. Right, I've got a bit sidetracked there. I guess that's what happens when you're vlogging on road. Um, just put me bag out. Ooh, right, yeah, so, what the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, subsidised parking. As far as I'm aware, in Grimsby, you can't get subsidised parking. Now I've worked it out, and per month, if I was to park every time I went to work in council provided parking, I'd pay about 50 to 60 pounds a month, I think. I only worked it out quick while I've just been in work. Um, and to me, if I'm an honest worker, um, and I'm in the town centre, I deserve some kind I pay my taxes, you know. I deserve some, I mean, it's like five odd pounds a day or something. I deserve some kind of lower rate, in my opinion, than your average visitor, because I'm, I have to go there, I have to work there. I suppose, oh, fucking traffic. I suppose that's their way of getting you to use public transport, but again, I live in a village just outside Grimsby, um, and for the times I need it, I'm going to be stuck in town for like... It's alright mate, fucking hell. He nearly just twatted into the escort. Twark is going too fast and it's an old fucking car. Uh, yeah, I, I work in the town centre and I should be entitled to some kind of lower rate because the the public transport, I have used it a couple of times out, out to where I live, but it, it don't provide the service I need, you know. Unless they're going to come and pick me solely up, you can fuck off, sort of thing. So... That's the reason why I was parked so far from where I were today, because um, I refuse. Well, apart from the fact I haven't been paid yet from work, because I haven't been working there all that long, I've got to work some time in hand, like, but um, I refuse to pay when I'm actually going to work. I'll pay if I'm going and uh, um, visit it. But again, should we have to pay for parking anywhere, really? Because you think about it. What the f I know we pay, I'm, I was just about to say what the fuck do we pay a car tax for, and I know that's meant to go towards car, uh, fucking car, well, uh, that's meant to go towards, um, fuck me, um, fucking women drivers, that's supposed to go towards, like, uh, road maintenance and shit, I'd be reasonably happy for my, um, probably win one. I'd be reasonably happy for my um, car tax to go up even slight, I mean not a daft amount, but slightly more if parking was made free in town centres because I don't think it's fair because let's face it, what do they do for a car park? Uh, admittedly sometimes you get your multi story ones, fine, they've got to recoup the last one somewhere um, but, you know, fucking all they basically do is tarmac an area, put fucking white lines on it, put a pay and display meter on it, and there you go, there's your fucking car park. What the fuck are we paying for, apart from the greedy bastards? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my commute home. You've seen this stretch of road, so you know I'm nearly home. So, I'll end this video now, and that's pretty much my... That's pretty much my ten li uh, fucking spazzing out. Ten minutes. I shall see you later, guys. Bye.